the big picture was presented to the North York Community Council in response to its assessment of a development proposal at Duplex in Eglinton. This presentation is based on the Midtown Plan discussion paper and its efforts to establish a legible, informative, beneficial approach to planning in the area. So let's discuss the big picture and how the town center is to be put together out of all its component developments. This presentation addresses the center's mixed-use purpose, its emerging context, identifies the LRT dividend, and addresses public realm and open space continuum. In the application before it, staff criticized it for being over-intensive, questioned its existing and planned context, stated as out of scale and character, that it represented a negative precedent, that it eliminated transition, and the question as well having its greatest density at the center's periphery. But there was no mention of the big picture. Staff's view on additional development is yes, if there's appropriate transition of scale, appropriate density, there's limitation of shadow and wind impacts, that there's a compatibility between developments and positive visual relationship to the street. But there's no mention of the big picture. Therefore, staff recommendation to council been simply to refuse the application and to consider discussions of any revised proposals that might come forward. But there is no mention of the big picture. Therefore, we advise council that they should today establish a discussion process that includes property interests, including Premium, TTC, Metrolinx, RioCan, Baz's Build Toronto and Northern, and likewise with the community association. And the council should also start up a town centre development strategy that is focused on a concerted public-private partnership, as these parts are all tightly knit together and reliant upon each other. Here we see the four quadrants of the Young Eglinton Town Centre, with the crossroads of Young and Eglinton at the centre, and the premium site one block away to the west. There's a big dig coming on. It's a great consolidative opportunity. Shown here is the trench for the LRT to a depth of 20 meters, and carved out of it on each side are the foundations for each of the primary projects that align its corridor throughout a distance of some 200 meters. A suggestion of the magnitude of the LRT trench, it is comparable in size to the Welland Canal. And so we have positioned here a freighter in the streetscape to give a sense of scale. And here we see how this volume is created and the, can be seen the LRT platform at the bottom and how the station is over top and how there's a concourse involved. Here we see it in cross-section with the street level in the middle of Eglinton and the various levels that are adjacent to this excavation. The area marked in blue is a section of the excavation that once the LRT trackage is in the base of the trench, it is intended to backfill it. And putting this in the context of the Welland Canal, here we see that blue area to be backfilled and at the base of it where there is the LRT alignment and the street above. This pending development involves substantial contiguous and concurrent development. Now if we watch this, we can see how this all comprises one overall sum project and the, where the premium project is located. It's a rare urban opportunity to have this convergence where so much land is available at one time in one area such as this. Here we see the basic structure of the Young Eglinton Center emerging. If we look at the fundamentals in diagrammatic form, the green area shows the transit gateway whereby the ridership comes up from below ground and accesses the Young Eglinton Town Center. The basic principle here is that the transit ridership is the true retail foot traffic for the enterprise of the town center. On the Build Toronto lands, we see the opportunity for a similar retail engine. The LRT trench is a key asset. And here we see, placed in the trench beside the, the gateway component, a crossover link between the two retail engines the ability to put in a comprehensive loading dock where trucks properly come in and leave in a forward motion. In addition, 
there's the ability to install further car park facilities as we see for instance under University Avenue. Essentially with this void it's an instance of either use it or lose it. At ground level the structure of the architecture, the retail architecture, involves activated streetscapes that sleeve the big box and many majors behind them. We need to deal with each block in its entirety to make sure that we end up with a comprehensive, complete, of a seamless environment. At present, on Duplex Avenue, we see a condition where there's a breakdown between the retail Main Street environment of Eglinton and the emerging residential neighborhood. On the TTC block, which is a planned environment that has a com comprehensive plan to it, and it includes an activated retail streetscape that needs to be anticipated. So at this corner, we need to have a pivot between the Main Street retail environment and the residential characteristics of duplex. And we need to have a focal element on that corner. Creates a significance that this intersection has never had in the past. We should look at, on the upper level of any development in this corner, being able to extend the Rio Can offering so it has a larger floor plate up there and bring it down with a proper access and address. This development has a significant role to play in the Young Eglinton Town Centre and its transit gateway. How it is configured on its three principal levels with regards to the overall structure of the Town Centre. In this fashion it's possible to ensure it does not preclude various alternatives from occurring as the greater puzzle is put together. I do not believe that the solution here is to leave it to an external body like the OMB to determine. I believe it has to be resolved in its immediate context of being a unique intersection in the City of Toronto. And this requires that discussions take place now these discussions involve not only the property owners, include as well the transit work that is going to be built in the street, and it involves the communities that surround. Furthermore, Council needs to direct planning to pay attention to a town centre strategy in order that these discussions can come forward with a fruitful outcome.